Yeah. Hello! We are not in Madison Square Garden. Although I don't know if you heard that or not. Uh, we're, we're not we're even. <laughs> we're not even in the garden. It's not even a square. <laughs> Welcome to the Salt Circle. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to John's kind of rhomboid garden. <laughs> we are here to play some D and D. My name is John, and I am joined by Sean. I think you'll all agree. Yes. <laughs> um. Following that is Kaboom. Hello. Tanny yeah, is here. <laughs> Waves high. Uh, Ben is also here. Why, hello. Maddie has got a voice again now. Yeah, fantastic. I actually have something to drink in the stream tonight. Uh, Yay! <laughs> and Sammy is here. Uh, apparently restored I was needed. Yeah, it comes up from time to time. Yeah, mm. from time to time. You were I summoned. love this leech. <laughs> this, the Sammy summoning horn was blown. <laughs> Sammy's are required. Batman has got the vaccine on and have the Sammy signal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, really, we should like invest in the Geek World logo somewhere on a big um, flashlight. <laughs> Some building would... overlooking the channel to. <laughs> suddenly, you suddenly the face of a panda in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> if we're looking up. <laughs> Panda Man Shrugging! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be brilliant. Did you... Is Otto. it a bird? Is it a plane? It's a panda? <laughs> <laughs> Some guy eating bamboo. <laughs> Just kind of flops off of a tyre and rolls over. And, <laughs> and instantly anyway. dies because pandas are useless as creatures. <laughs> anyway. Oh, yes. <laughs> anyway. Unless voiced by Jack Black. Anyway, <laughs> let's get back to the matter in hand, which is it's time to play D&D. &D. Uh, last, last time, you guys uh, gathered uh, and, and headed down to the sixth level of the Tomb of Annihilation. Uh, yeah, because that's a great idea. <laughs> where you found a mist-filled room with a cage holding... A duplicate Seraphine. Oh yeah, I remember that. Right, yeah, she's hiding somewhere now. She is currently hiding on the fifth level of the tomb, awaiting your successful completion of uh, well, working out how to get the hell out of Dodge. Uh, you also discovered a giant skeleton gate and three... Um, animated dolls that had been brought to life using the souls of children uh, by the Soan sisters who advised you that to open the skeletal gate you needed to collect the skeleton keys and there was one on each of the previous levels of the tomb somewhere wandering around. Uh, cursing to yourself that you had only managed to find two of these on your descent through the tomb you slowly made your way back up, or you very quickly made your way back up to level 2, where you poked and prodded around and found some secret doors that you had missed on your previous excursion here, and found a skeleton key, meaning that you have now found it on floors 1, 2, and 5. 1, fucking 2, <laughs> and 5. So now we need three and four questions? Yep. Yay. Yep, pretty much. Uh, you also had a big fight with a... Uh, slard when you wandered into a room wherein uh, there was a giant pentagram in the ground 
and the god inside Romad's head advised adding more salt. And Riordan just kind of wandered into the pentagram to add the salt to the inside of the pentagram. I smart. So now we pick up as Riordan is currently trying to hold his insides in. Mm. Uh, let's switch over to the map. <laughs> On the plus side, John, at least you remembered how to say your name. And it's not that intro that I have problems with. <laughs> Salt for my figures. Yes, I need salt for my vigors. My humors are ill-aligned. Yes. Yes, well, uh, yes, I played Bioshock. I played Bioshock. I, 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 own, I own all of them about three times. It's the one where you electrocute things whilst doing biology experiments. So, what would you guys like to do, other than apparently discussing Bioshock? I'm disappointed in the, in the amount of references that go beyond people's head. Right. Anyway, to get back on track. So, we, we just progress? we just killed the guy, and Riordan's dying, and we looked into the tomb, right? Yes. Yeah, I now have a frog guy in my head. Oh yeah. <laughs> when you say that frog, too. do you mean a do you mean a frog or do you mean the frog monster thing? He means the grung. Gotcha. I just call him Froggy. <laughs> <laughs> I would call him Ball of Death, considering. Uh... The species wiped out the whole platoon we were with at some point. Uh, you know, some of these guys that have a bit of a bad history, but you know. Anyway, shall we move on to the next <laughs> question mark? I think that's a we good could idea. Move on the next hellish floor. <laughs> uh, if anyone could, I don't know, spare a chance to heal me a little, I might be thankful. I already healed you, I think. Well, apparently, I'm not, well. I'm on fifteen at this point. Okay. Uh, uh, no, not inflict wounds. The other way. <laughs> <laughs> and Riordan disappears. And Goli turns up along with Safe and the <laughs> I'm gonna heal you level three. I believe I still have some spells on level three. Yes, I do. Ten. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm now at least half of my health back. <laughs> and that's the last I can throw in a bit more, maybe with a healing word. Level two. Uh, nine. I think. Yeah, nine. Yes, nine. Yay! Takes me up to 33. Okay, I'm feeling much better now. Alright, shall we be on the on the on the way, on our way? <clears throat> May as well. Uh, information for you, John. Yep. Uh, Kaboom's internet is apparently going up and down, so his roll 20 is coming up and crashing down all the time, so mm -hmm. might have to take over Philly for a moment. Okay, I will make sure that Philly follows the party. Also, where's that going, Bates? Uh, he is still waiting outside. Oh. I feel Don't bad. Worry, he's safe. He's safe. Where's our dragon bit? Where's our pet? Hello. Hey, don't call him a, don't call him a pet. He is his own person. Yeah, well, honestly, he is not that time, so... Well, then we need to take better care of him, because honestly, we've put him through so much shit. 
We we literally spent the whole fucking game just going around. Where's 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 Dragon Bait? Where is he? We we have in all essence kidnapped him. Pretty much. <laughs> Unintentionally, he, yes. No, he came willingly. Well, he jumped you know, into the... We're taking away pool. from his... We're taking away from his one friend. <laughs> in his, no, he, in his land. He, he jumped with us into the portal. Never actually specified or said any, or said to him, follow us. <laughs> oh, yeah. Eco's still, like, gone as well. I forgot Eco was a thing. Who's gonna I open like the she's... door? I oh, will she's... attempt to open the door. I'm I will stand the scraping the side of the door like a puppy. I'm going to push Riordan in the door because I'm probably going to help more than, <laughs> than that. You're going to push me into the door. <laughs> I've got 23 strength, so I just, assume... Just shove him through one of the like holes in the door. <laughs> I assume it might help I'm pretty more, sure this but... isn't how doors work. <laughs> if you want to help, go and help. I've got to get out of the way because my strength is terrible. But still. <laughs> the point still remains that going through the little holes being shoved is not a good idea. Uh, what, do we one roll... of us gets advantage or each of us roll? Uh, it, is in, it is neither of those things, actually. It is just... The shield. What, what the is shield. your strength score? Uh, my strength... As in modifier or score? Score. 20. 23. You heave the door open. I mean, I, I knew we could because we did that at the start, so... Good. <laughs> so we got in here and everything. The oh, door <laughs> opens. Hooray. Thank you, strong friends. I'm not strong. Technically, you are. It's magic. Not me. Magically, you... <laughs> Yeah, where's the magic coming from? Theodos, with his noodle arms, apparently, <laughs> lifts doors now. You're basically Saitama. <laughs> yeah, but with armbands. And hair. That too. <laughs> you can go through my bed. Thank you. <laughs> and Romel is hey. under Reardon. Well, <laughs> can we keep our private lives separate? Uh, <laughs> why was there an opening in the wall? I had to move it to open the, the to shut the door briefly. Don't question things. <laughs> so, uh, aren't we supposed to question everything? No. That isn't means that yes? Isn't that the essence of life? So, which on which level are we at the moment? I forgot. You're yeah. currently on level two. So we need to go... We, we need one from three and four. So, so we down we go. Is this down or is it the other way that's down? Uh, this so is down. Is... So... Admittedly this, is, admittedly, this is a way down we've never gone before. Which, so... would, you, would you like to go down in this order? Uh... uh... <laughs> uh, I'm finding at the back. Uh, okay. I'd like to maybe move a tiny bit back further. I'm also at this point actually questioning where is Seraphine? Uh, Seraphine is here. Yeah. I'm right here. Where no, you, you ain't. Yes, yes, she, yes, she, she is. is. She's, She's right there. <laughs> there is. Nope. Where here. is Seraphine? She's now there. <laughs> yeah, um, I moved here. But you weren't That's there it. before, and Carboom's yeah, moved it. back into the. On oh, mine, Carboom's disappeared. On oh, mine, Carboom's disappeared, yeah, and Carboom Seraphine was here. Carboom went back into the chamber. I think Seraphine <laughs> did the same on my screen. I... Sean, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> is your roll 20 haunted? I don't know. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> left the game, and some of the tokens moved. Okay. Uh, so, who would like to go further forward in the party to allow Seraphine to drop back? Thank you. <laughs> Question mm. answer. Mm. Am I going at the very, very back? Oh, wait, no, you're going at the back. Okay. Where am I going? 
So the deck shuffling is. It, it, it's basically because everyone shuffles at the same time. My shuffling is uh, slowed down. Everyone's shuffling is slowed down. So I have no idea where you are. I, I'm trying to stay in middle because that <laughs> makes that allows me to cover as much of the party as possible in my four hour. I'm going to switch between Theodos and Ronana just for the sake of having the strong one at the back. Theodon is already at the front, ready to run. <laughs> All right, right, so let's go down and miss him. <laughs> so, in order, okay. I have Riordan. Yes. yes. And Dude. then it's Dragonbait. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I would probably suggest Philippe before Dragon Bait because Philippe tends to jump into fighting anyway, so. And he's the one who usually ends up going first. Dragon well. Is kind of a bit as well. Especially if he's undead. Uh. So, Philippe. Who is behind them at the moment? Uh, uh, Romad. Romad. Oh, belief. Romad. And then Torin. Yep. And then and, Seraphine. And, and the two gnomes. Or half the link. Nope, gnomes, you're not the first one. Uh, They're both gnomes. And then Theodos is at the back. I love that the um, the two wood elf are literally at the front and the back. <laughs> it just goes to show the differences between us. I'm not afraid. <laughs> and that shows the difference between us. I am cautious and responsible. Oof. <laughs> I'm responsible. Technically, stop technically drinking. at the moment, you're not cautious. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, no. I am still cautious. I'm, however, uh, not afraid of danger. It's not exactly the same thing. It's not because I'm not afraid of danger that I'm not cautious. I can be not afraid of danger and still not want to die. Uh, Roma would like. Fear of death is. Tani would like to know how tall is Theodas. Hey, I was close. No, you were exactly on it. <laughs> Well, technically, I said five foot something, and that's like implying yeah, that but there that, might be. You said five feet. Well, yeah, it's five foot something, okay. but it's round down. <laughs> oh, oh, I remember yeah, these yeah. guys. Shit. Question: Have we seen this level before, or did we completely yes. see it? You, uh, you have Ooh. seen it before. Uh, On a different angle. You've been down this corridor on the other side of this uh, because these that you possibly can't see from where you are at the moment, Seraphine. I can uh, kind of see it, it's just slightly darker. There is a pair of tomb guardians connected by a chain. That's where uh, uh, Riordan found his skull friend. And, and, uh, and the, the, the purple where... goo is uh, the thing that you squished, if you remember the, the eye that you squished. Yep. Right, I remember that. That was a fun time. Uh, so, what would you like to do? Oh, first of all, I would have my lantern burning so I can see. Oh, that would be a good idea, <laughs> wouldn't it? Uh, what's the what's the distance on the lantern again? It's forty feet, isn't it? I think so. Boop. I think it, I think it's bright twenty, and then another. 20 is a gym, but yeah. Uh, ben. Yes. Riordan. Yes. There is a blonde, a blonde plaque. A blonde plaque. A blonde plaque made of blondes. You know, wow. the rarest metal of all time, blondes. There is yeah. a bronze plaque on the wall. Is it next door to the blondes one? Yes. And on it reads the following message. The following load of bullshit. <laughs> Walk through water with weapon in hand. Slake your shadow at the font. The vulture is the first step. Write the gods. 
The Wall of History Tells All. The Walls of History Tell All. Hmm. The S wasn't in the right place. <laughs> Walk through water with weapon in hand. Slake your shadow at the front. The vulture is the first step. Right the guards. The walls of history tell all. Interesting. Hmm. I mean, it's absolutely meaningless for the time being, but interesting. It's not that we've encountered so far, I don't think. No. No. It might have maybe relevance means... to this level, though, I suppose. I was about shall... to say, maybe we'll encounter something. Shall, shall we uh, proceed a little bit further and I'll take a gander down this corridor? We should do. Yes. Uh, as soon as the Swedish and Dragon Bait move their ass. Ben, you decide to put, yes. what is your passive perception? 15. Uh, an, Sorry, 16. Even better. Uh, an eye just opens in the purple goop and looks oh. at you. Does it look menacing? It's kind of yellow with a, a slit pupil. Ooh, like a cat. Guys. There's a there's an eye in the in the ooze. It's looking at me. Oh, I encountered one of those before. I just stepped on it. I take my quarter staff and poke it. It blinks a couple of times and then shakes a little bit and then closes. Okay. So there might be something watching us. There most definitely is. And more importantly, watching us, watching it, watching us. There well, is a face it's down so, this corridor. So far, it's watched us, watch it, poke the eyes and destroy its eyes. <laughs> there is a huge carving of a snarling jackal head protruding from the wall at the end of this corridor. And there is a gap in its fangs that you can look through and see the chamber on the other side of the wall. Okay. I will go and take a look. Okay, Calvin. Okay, bye. All right. Bye-bye. You keep it. Bye. Thanks your internet next time. Yes. Well, either, either way, have a good night, my friend. You killed your internet provider. We'll that do that too. next. Sounds a good plan. Can, can we have that as a boss in this dungeon? Just a random one. Just for... Can't and this... <laughs> this is Brian, Carboom's internet provider. Fuck you! <laughs> you want to play D&D? I shan't allow it! Yeah, uh, it ends up being like fighting the Riddler. It's very easy to take down. <laughs> Rio Dan. Yes. Four torches illuminate stone sphinxes crouched in the corners of this 15-foot high room. The torches cast flickering light across hieroglyphs carved into the tiled floor. At the centre of the room, a gold inlaid funeral barge stands atop a three-foot-tall stone dais. Resting on the deck of the barge is a small golden sarcophagus decorated with horned rabbits. A dark shaft opens in the ceiling directly above the barge. Okay. I have the feeling that the uh, the connection above is through the uh, the mouth of the other one we saw upstairs, potentially. As you are watching, a slab of rock grinds upwards into the ceiling, and a dwarf wearing a turban and chainmail sneaks into the room. He brandishes his shield in front of him and treads cautiously across the floor. By the way, am I meant to be able to see this room? No, because that's... Able to. Unfortunately, that is not... Uh, apparently, they didn't even think of eye holes when they made <laughs> dynamic lighting for Roll20. <laughs> okay. pic picture it in your mind. I just wanted to make sure, because I saw rings. I thought, oh no, am I meant to see something there? <laughs> uh, to be fair, I wasn't sure what you can see, because I can see all, because I am... Um... I'm literally in the end of a dead-end corridor.
That's about all I can see. You basically what everybody else can see is that Riordan has got his well, what everybody else could see if Felif moved up and let you guys in. <laughs> we just all just stood there. <laughs> uh what what Felif and Dragonbait and Romad would be able to see and Torin can poke his head around the corner and have a look at Hello. is um <laughs> Riordan currently has his eyes pressed up against a snarling jackal mouth. Is he making out with the jackal? <laughs> this is how I think kissing works. I put my eyes <laughs> to the mouth, right? <laughs> this is how we this is how we show affection in my land. We touch eyes. <laughs> eyes to mouth. Eyes to mouth, yes. Uh Riordan. Yes. There is a loud as the dra as the dwarf, not dragon, dwarf steps on one of the floor tiles, and then a deafening buzzing, <laughs> locusts pour from the mouths of the sphinx statues and quickly engulf him. He tries to fight them off, but to no avail. When the cloud of insects vanishes, there is nothing left but dwarven bones and weaponry. Did I see? Well, he actually managed to stand on when he was walking into the room. You can see that there are just hieroglyphs on all of the tiles. Oh no, I get that, but did I get to see which tile he stood on to set off the trap? You can't make it out from this distance. Dang it. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. I have a okay. question. Yes. What is, what is a locust? It uh, is a uh, Insect. It is one of a, the plagues. A, like a grasshopper-like insect that consumes basically all vegetation in its path. It was one of the plagues of Egypt. Yes. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Actually, in real life, they're not that bad for us. Yeah, they, they, they don't, don't vegetation. They don't usually attack people. Uh, they're just they're just starve them to death because they eat because they eat everything else. Yeah, the other side of things are actually kind of tasty as well if you actually eat them. Apparently they're creamy. Lots of insects are creamy. Especially yeah. ones with exoskeletons. <laughs> True. They all go squishy and crashy and crashy in your mouth, but the legs get caught between your teeth. That's the nasty. Anyway, carrying on. <laughs> Romad. An eye just opens and looks at you. Hi. <laughs> aye, aye. Yes. Blink, blink. <laughs> That's pretty much it, yeah. Blink. I'm waiting for someone to try and pick up the eye. <laughs> It focuses on you. Um, leans in for a kiss. Staring contest. It blinks and shuts and just sort of retracts into the mold. Does anyone speak I? We could try and talk to them. <laughs> what would you like to do? This is no surprise at all. I've seen seen of things. <laughs> I once saw a man eat his own head. <laughs> then you truly have seen everything. <laughs> That's true. Hopefully you wouldn't let me. And a sheep. And a plant. You see yeah. you didn't turn into a lot of things. I can do it again if you like. I still have a sorcerer's ale. 
No. no of course, no. because what Riordan really needs is to transform into more shit. <laughs> hey, there is a chance of healing. Yeah, a chance on the D100. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So we are seeing this room with a fancy trap on the floor, which I think we need to be very careful of. The answer would be the whole tomb uh, is pinged with magic. <laughs> <laughs> um. Ah, it's isn't. It doesn't register as magic. It does smell of rotting corpses. That's an, an interesting statement from <laughs> from the detect magic sign. Uh, it is not an animal. Yeah, I it... assume I would know if it was an animal. <laughs> it it is a patch of mold. Oh, good. Okay. That was worth a try. Um... Yeah, it's definitely th this is what happens when you don't clean the room. Oh, that'd be where I'm going wrong. Oh, that's a point. Hold on. Can I try something with the mold? Yes. Can I communicate with it? <laughs> Oh, that is a good question. <laughs> that is can a it very good question. Can you understand at least one language? That is a good question. <laughs> that is an insanely good question. Has it got a brain? <laughs> it might do. With... It just might be smeared o over there instead. <laughs> also, you need to, you, you don't need to show the uh, uh, uh. This is obviously an extremely good question. We've <laughs> really got him going. Um, I'm now picturing John reading all the books. <laughs> you reach out to the mold. Yes. Uh, great. Another voice in his head. Hello. So, what are you doing here then? This is where we live. No, oh, very interesting. This what is our home. Ah. Just what languages do you understand? <laughs> oh, no. I think I suppose. Languages I've got down are common, elvish, and primordial. Oh, I'm sorry, you don't understand this. Oh. <laughs> no, you reach out you reach out into the mold and just a Oh and it says that I don't need to share a language with the Oh creature. you don't need to share a language with it. Then fine, you do understand this. <laughs> We're back to the first thing. It it said okay. the it said the stuff I said it said. <laughs> but which <Okay>. one? <laughs> Uh, I can talk to the mold, by the way. Does anyone have any questions? No. Uh, no. What are uh, you, anyway? I'm not going to comment the fact that you just said I can talk to the mold. <laughs> so what we are you, We are the perfect being. Interesting. Out of curiosity, are you a threat to us? Are you a robber? Are you not. meant to be here? We are meant to be here. Uh, though we are not planning on robbing the place, no. Then... We um, shall see... Oh, if well. you are... Yeah, that's pretty much all you do all day. Yeah, okay. could you tell them that I'm not a fan of them just, like, watching us from yeah, their... Yeah, we do have a thing about you watching games. us. I mean, you know, it's rather Are disconcerting. Are you saying that you would not watch interlopers passing through your home? 
All I'm saying is that we wouldn't stare. It's fair enough keeping an eye on us, but staring us down is a different matter. Balkchus or the unseen will bear this in mind. Well, thank you very much for that consideration. And in turn, we shall no longer try and poke out your eyes. You can do nothing to harm us. Can pissed on you. Oh, that's good to know. At least then we don't need to worry about uh, minding our step, then, eh? <laughs> now I'm going to step on you because you said it's not hurting you. <laughs> hey, it's okay, Misa. So if we accidentally step on him, it's fine. <laughs> what? Is that not what you <sighs> just said? Fucking bastard. <laughs> You know, literally said that it's okay that if we step on you because you don't feel anything. You may carry on. Thank you very much. And thank you very much for your time as well. That's very kind of you. And after that, I think we should carry on and keep taking a look around. Oh, actually, hang on. One moment. <laughs> I don't suppose you know of any key upon this level, do you? Yes, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> that's why I asked the question. It is with me. Oh. Very good to know. You will not get into my lair. So it's in your lair I'm hearing. <laughs> Think lair. Yes. Oh, so this isn't currently your lair. I would have thought your lair would have been your place of occupation. This is my level of the tomb. It is not all of my lair. Oh, fair enough. Well, fair enough. Well, we're going to keep walking around now anyway. But it's been a pleasure talking to you. What are ugly and perfect creatures you are? I know, but I do try with some makeup. I won't tell the others that he said that. <laughs> oh, you better not. <laughs> so, question, did you translate everything he said at the same time he said it, or did we just watch you communicate with Maul for I have translated pretty much everything <laughs> except that last statement. What did he say to you just then, Richard? Ah, uh, he says that I'm a bit ugly, and I have to agree with him. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure about the blue and the black, but, you know, it kind of comes with it. It certainly has a certain appeal, but it's taking some getting used to. Are you really taking the, uh, are you really taking the uh, opinion of a patch of mold on the ground? Well, it's more that I haven't seen yeah. the mirror yet, so I'm just, I'm just presuming that potentially he knows something which you guys don't want to say out of politeness. I wouldn't exactly trust the opinion of some purple mold on the ground. Well, when it comes <laughs> down to it. The fact of the matter is, it's, it's regard, regarded itself as a perfect being, which it potentially could be. I mean, if we're causing it no harm, and so far it doesn't even mind us poking its eyes out, I would have to say that there might be something to it, though, personally, doesn't suit me. Not something I'm going to be signing up for, but you never know. Anyway, uh, well, we've been told that apparently the key is somewhere upon this level, and it's in his lair. Apparently we'll never get in the layer, but it's in this layer, which is apparently uh, his entire level. So it's here somewhere. That's what he thinks, or it thinks. I don't know. Does 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 the mold have a gender? I don't know. Excuse me, Mr. Mold. Do you have a gender? I am a perfect being. Yes, More. but does a perfect being have a gender? We have moved past such imperfect uh, things. I actually do have a question for this mold. Oh, yes, yes. I will translate it, it to... Are you speaking to the mold? Or is something using the mold? As I say, I'll translate that straight across, so... We are Belt 
forge the unseen. We are perfect. We are not just a patch of mold on the ground. So no, then, it's something using the mold to communicate and see us. So, as another question, when it comes down to it, if this is a part of your being, is this the only form that you can take? Oh, no. Oh, no? We You're not going to turn into the Kool-Aid man, are you? We have many forms. You will never see us coming. Hmm. I mean, we see you everywhere right now. So. Well, that's, yeah, I, for something which is unseen, you're very much seen at this he, point. He's already uh, said he's not the patch of mold. You will no, no, not it's just that... know where we attack from. You will not be able to fight back. Well, surely we'll know when, when you've attacked us. I mean, if I get stabbed in the back, it surely means that you've attacked me from the back, doesn't it? You think too small, little man. Think too small. Well, unless they're teeth, in which case I suppose you could bite from the back in the front at the same time. Teeth are such imperfect weapons. It depends how big they are. Trust me, we've seen a dragon. <laughs> We've fought a dragon. We've killed the dragon. So have we. Now, this we stuff as well, are, are you an amalgamation of many different bits, or are you many different creatures as well? We are us. There's a legion. I think God. he's just... I think he's using the royal we. I think he's a bit... Mm. <laughs> Hmm. Fair enough. Anyway. Fear this. My goodness. Please put that away. There are better he places. He doesn't actually do it. He's just <laughs> saying it. Anyway. But we, we'll, leave you to your, we'll leave you to your perfection and uh, wander about, eh? You could not dream of being as perfect as I. No, I actually me, have I to don't. agree with that. I I believe in imperfection makes things better, so no, I prefer to be myself. But thank you very much for the offer. It's the fact of the matter when it comes down to it, it's the imperfections which make us truly remarkable. The fact of the matter, if you're perfect, that means that, well, you have nothing to live for, nothing to gain. It's a pity, really. I feel sorry for you there, and I hope that one day you will find an imperfection to try and improve upon. We always do. Then you're not perfect. If you constantly improve, you are not perfect. <laughs> we have reached perfection. But you constantly say that you improve. If you improve, you cannot be perfect. If you are improving, you're imperfect. Red, and I think we don't have the time for philosophical uh, debate with asshole. with a patch of mold all day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, fine, fine. Once again, it has been an absolute pleasure, and perhaps we can do this another time over a nice mug of ale. But for now, we, yes, we must continue. Can mold even drink ale? Well, it's not mold, it's a, a being of perfection, so I'm pretty sure that it must be able to drink, unless it's, it's imperfection which it carries on saying it doesn't need. Uh, who knows? Anyway, we'll continue and we'll leave you be. So, who wants to lead on? Our well, train's going one way. Only way. Da, 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 da. I mean, it's not the only way. There's the way where the dwarf died. No, we the can't actually get in there. That's a dead end. Yes. 
Okay. I'm gonna wait for everyone to move because that fucking kills my uh, rule 20, apparently. Yeah, my rule 20 is around as well. Uh, da, 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 da. How is it possible to have lag with a token? Why don't you get it? I have, I have more lag on rule 20 than I do on The Witcher 3. That's, that's it's, saying it's something. Insane. Uh, come on. One minute, let me try let me try something and see if this will help. Oh well no, you're not an ugly bugger. Oh there's fire man. everywhere! Ah. <laughs> no, stop. I think you're under an uh survey. Am I oh shit. Well, technically, it shows me on top of her, but you know, it's fine. Not like that, Jesus Christ. That has sped it up on my screen. I don't know about you guys. Uh, seems better. A little, little bit, yeah, a little bit. It's actually not too bad now. Cool. I'm assuming because it's only loading up this bit of map now. I I turned off advanced fog of war, which is what allows you to see the places you've been to previously. Oh. Mm. And uh, it's completely killing everything. You reach a T junction. Yes. Uh, down this way, you can see sort of water pooling. And over this way, you can see a very thin crawl space that you might be able to squeeze down. Hmm. Didn't the poem say something about us walking across water with our weapons held high or something? Yes. It well, the the plaques. The plaques. He's just te he's just telling us certain things. He's not necessarily leading us the right way. <laughs> Tom the human says goop is weak against silic bang. <laughs> bang what? and the dirt is gone. Uh, we must find the the great warrior Barabald Scott. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, which way would you guys like to go? Um, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. I'm interested in crawl space. Okay, would, how many votes for crawl way? space? Everyone say mm. I. I'm kind of curious with crawl space. Oh, Jesus. I'm kind of curious with the crawl space as well, but would we all be able to fit through it is the question. Uh, you'd have to go one at a time, sort of. It's definitely a single file thing. Okay. But we all can get in it. But you would all be able to press into it, some of you more easily than others. Who's that directed at? <laughs> the gnome duo. Yeah, the, the two smallest of the group. <laughs> that diddy people. <laughs> okay. Okay, Raiden's gonna go over to the crawl space and start crawling. You press your way into a crawl space. Tight. And you make your way down to about here. Ow. And you, you stop as ahead of you a face of a snarling minotaur is etched into a sheet of iron that covers the crawl space. Sorry, a uh, snarling what, sorry? Minotaur. Ah. Or minotaur. Okay. Or There's a mini, mini minotaur in here. Um, the eyes have been cut out and let you see that the tunnel continues on beyond uh, the... Beyond the, sh the sheet of metal. Okay. I would like to make a, a noise uh, against the metal just to see whether I can grab someone's attention on the other side. If okay. there is someone on the other side. Uh, what would I need to do? Or is there anything I need to do? Uh, no, you, you, you can hit the metal. The... Make a knock check. <laughs> you... I failed. <laughs> uh... You you work out that you roll, you roll a natural one. You just kick yourself by accident. Ow! 
Uh, you you knock the sheet of uh, metal, and it it's a big sheet of iron. Uh, it it goes, tung tung. Uh, it is about an inch thick. Uh, I do have another idea of something. To... With this uh, sheet of metal. Uh, if I was to attempt and trying to slide it up, does it feel like it could go anywhere? Uh, make me a strength check. Or, no, sorry, strength... Um, no, make me an athletics check. This is going to fail, guy. <laughs> yes, it will. <laughs> you start to slide it, and it will slide upwards, uh, but there are... Uh, there is something putting weight down upon it. Uh, that that provides more resistance as you start to slowly slide it upwards, and it's it's in an awkward position that you can't quite put your full effort into it, and you it will slide upwards, but you at this moment cannot do that. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna come back out again and just end up saying, okay, we need someone who's strong to lift this up. Who's athletic at all? Uh. I've got a proficiency in athletics. Well, so did I, but it didn't help. <laughs> but, but I've also got a strength of a strength modifier of five. So. That's true. My strength modifier is zero. So, so yeah. Uh, Between... So, Torin, would you like to move up to the? And if you I'm, fail, I'm this assuming now, this uh, little thing is also that is the metal thing. That is indeed the metal thing. So here's here's where I fail the roll catastrophically. So no. <laughs> you slide the metal up and um it easily cl clicks into place in the ceiling and you can hear just a as some sort of a latch holds it in place. Oh. Hmm. I was going to offer you a gold fork to try and hold it in place, but I think that'll do. Uh, what would you like to do? Uh, well, you're in front now. First so. of all, is it possible to like investigate it to see if there's something that's going to... Wait, I'm trying to see if this is some form of trap. <laughs> okay. So uh, roll, roll me investigation. Uh, investigation. Go! 17! <laughs> Uh, you can see that there is a latch that is currently holding the thing in place, uh, but that it is not uh, not as solid as it could be, and the, you felt springs as you pushed it upwards. You feel that there is something that is um, going to push it back down again at so... some point. Thinking of the wrong thing. You so. could, in theory, you think, wedge it. Hmm. It would be a wonderful thing to do. Uh, what would I need to do to try and wedge it? Uh, give me a. What are you going to wedge into it? Hmm. What do I have that I could wedge it? I have an iron I, pot. I have a shovel. <laughs> I have, I have cloak pins, and I have, a, I have a red dragon scale. I have <laughs> a manual of golems. There's uh, a resounding clung, <laughs> and a boop, 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 boop. there is a clang as the sheet just shink <laughs> and slides very quickly back into place. So it's a timed thing. thing. Okay. <laughs> Um, right, what do I have that I could possibly drag this thing up with an... What's in a Dungeoneer's pack? It's... I got Pythons in there, don't I? I think you do. Let me check. Uh, yes. So I could try and slide it back up and hammer some Pythons in to try and hold it. Yep. Make so, me an athletics check. 
make me another athletic check. Here's where it fails. Uh, that's, in that's investigation. That's completely the wrong thing. You look at it and you go, hmm, yes, wait. Oh, oh no, not quite. Nope for me. You can try it again. Try it again! 22! <laughs> this time you manage to put your weight back behind it and you lift and it slides up into the ceiling and then you quickly... Like, literally, like as many pythons as I have, I will fucking hammer all here. <laughs> you hammer five pythons in each side of the wall, just making a lattice that supports this uh, metal beam. And then I'm going to wait a, a little bit. <laughs> you wait. I want to push you through. Mm -hmm. And you wait. And nothing happens. I suggest if we're going through, we go through as quick as possible. I agree. That's usually my mantra. <laughs> I go. just come back. Come through, but come through quickly! You just hear echoing down the uh, crawl space. <laughs> Come through, but come through quickly. Quickly, quickly. <laughs> I think we're alone now. Doesn't seem to be anyone around. <laughs> this is literally all this <laughs> <laughs> Ro Romad got that reference. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's. Gonna make room that's without smart. being. <clears throat> that's smarted without being smart. There is another si little tunnel down here. There's another little tunnel down here. So there is, there's a little tunnel. Hi. <laughs> hey, Timbergor, there's another little tunnel. Torin, you might need to move yeah. one further to fit everybody I, in. I should have got that song in one my head. Further to... <laughs> da, 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 uh, da, da, da. Uh, uh, sure no, not. Yes! And and everybody else in this corridor now. Yes! Uh, the walls of this narrow tunnel slope inwards as they approach the ten-foot-high ceiling. Patches of mould cling to the walls and the floor in the eastern half of the hallway. Cut into the floor in the western end of the corridor is a three-foot-wide, four-foot-long rectangular hole with bright light spilling into it. Hmm. I kind of want to take a look down the hole. Does anyone mind me taking a look in the hole? Um, sure. Don't lean too far, though. I would like to look into the hole. I'm going to literally lie on the floor and sort of slide up to yeah. pop my head into the hole. Um, this This room that you can look into is shaped like a drum or cylinder lying on its side with its south end tapering towards a small stone door. Carvings of demons decorate the stonework with flickering flames in their eyes. Interesting. It's it's like a drum, guys. Uh, and I think I, I've... I recognise that description. Have I? <laughs> you have looked into this room previously. But from a different place. From angle. a different angle. Uh, I'll show the rest of you this now, I believe. Oh, yeah, the golem. The golem oh. that was holding the lever down and we killed him. Yes, yes, I remember. Of course, I slid underneath his legs and pulled him down. You did. 
so you are currently in the area marked 38B and are looking Wait. down into 38C. Oh. And the door is a little, a little, little slab thingy. And the glass, oh. like there's glass here that shows, well, there isn't actually glass here because from your side this looks like more wall. But you know from the other side that there is glass here that lets the golem... The golem would have been able to see you at the moment, but can't because you killed him. Uh, we did. We killed him sake... hard. Yeah, for the sake of the glass, could we smash the glass and gain access to that room? Um... I do not believe you can, because I believe from this side it is enchanted to act like stone. Does someone have a hammer that can smash through rock? I mean, I have a hammer. <laughs> Actually, technically, it is just stone, just on the other side it has been magically rendered transparent. But uh, it's thin, right? 